In the mid to late 1800s, Francis Havergale penned these words as Jesus sang and asking us, I gave my life for thee, my precious blood I shed, that thou mightest ransom be and quicken from the dead. I gave my life for thee, what hast thou done for me? I gave my life for thee, what hast thou done for me? As I read these words, a hymn I had never heard before, I couldn't help but examine my life and ask the same question, what am I doing for him? If you are watching this video, you might already know what Core Missions is all about, equipping and supporting national pastors to reach remote villages with the gospel of Christ. As we near 200 pastors and families with which we have partnered, we are constantly amazed and humbled by the opportunities Christ puts in front of us, opportunities to help advance the gospel by establishing relationships with Christians and churches around America. Since September 2020, we have been discussing and praying about an opportunity presented to us to help pastors in Egypt. Recently, we sent a team to Egypt to meet with pastors that are struggling financially. These are dear men of God that are pastoring and reaching their people in a way that we as Americans cannot. What we experience firsthand are men that are committed to the ministry whether or not they receive help. Men that have started churches while also working to provide for their families. At the time of this recording, we have 20 Egyptian pastors that I would like to present to you. These men have met with some of our staff. They have been interviewed and completed our application process. Not only are they in need of your prayers, but they are also worthy of our support. Here's what I'm asking. I'm asking you to give so these men can minister without the burden of having to worry about where their next meal will come from. I'm asking you to help us reach our goal of raising $125,000. This $125,000 can support these pastors for a two-year period. This means that we are trying to raise $4,800 of new monthly support, but we believe we can do it with God's leading and your help. There are two ways you can give. First, you can give monthly. Giving monthly allows you to make a significant impact while pacing yourself financially. Any amount will be a huge blessing and will go towards reaching our goal. The second way you can give is by giving a one-time offering. Maybe your church, your Sunday school class can take up a special offering, or maybe your business would like to make a donation. When, re when we receive donations like this, we always divide it up monthly to ensure the support is consistent. In just a moment, our Director of Operations, Tim Carter, will be joining us from Egypt as he talks about the challenges of pastoring in Egypt and will give us a glimpse of ministry in Egypt. After watching this video, would you go to coremissions.org backslash egypt.html and join us in doing our part to reach Egypt. My name is Tim Carter. I'm the Director of Operations for Core Missions. While we're here in Egypt, we'll be meeting with many national pastors, seeing if we can develop a relationship and uh, assist some of these national pastors in their church planning efforts. There are many obstacles being a national pastor in Egypt. The first is the persecution. 90% of the population in Egypt is Muslim. And so there's persecution on every level there, uh, whether it's finding a job, um, just not being accepted in the community, just not being allowed to do certain things. With the country being 90% Muslim, that means uh, jobs are given to those first. And so whether you're qualified for a, a job or even a part-time job, many times they're looked over because they're not Muslim. So it's difficult to provide for their family. It's difficult for them to be able to plant that church or do what God has called them to do here in the, in the country of Egypt. We have about 35 pastors gathered with us here in, in Alexandria, and they're gathered at a pastor's fellowship, which is key for them just to be able to meet and get encouragement in an area uh, where they face such adversity, face such persecution. Uh, and so we're here trying to encourage them and trying to see how we can help, how we can assist these national pastors. Currently, to fully support a pastor in Egypt, depending on the location of the pastor, how rural the area is, it takes between 200 to 600 US dollars per month to support a pastor here in Egypt. Some of the challenges these pastors face when they don't have the financial support that they need is that they spend most of their time out trying to provide for their family, which in turn causes them to struggle with church planning. It causes them to struggle uh, with doing what God has called them to do. So when we're able to provide just a little financial support or even fully support these national pastors for that monthly amount, uh, it enables them to focus solely on the task that God has called them to do. 
which is church planning here in Egypt, which is reaching the community, reaching these Egyptians with the gospel. By supporting national pastors, we're able to advance the cause of the gospel. We're able to see churches planted in some areas in as quickly as two to three years. Uh, some areas take longer, but we are still able to see great progress in the cause for the gospel and the cause of church planting, using the national pa pastors to plant churches in areas that they know, that they love, that they have the ability to connect with people because they know the language, they know the culture. Of course, such a unique opportunity for people to be involved in, in many ways. First, it takes far less money each month to support a national pastor as it does an American missionary. Second, we're able to see national pastors plant churches in areas that American missionaries aren't even allowed to be, places that American missionaries don't even know of, and in remote areas. I'm here in Egypt, and in so many of the times we hear of these main cities. We hear of Cairo, we hear of Alexandria, uh, but there are so many small towns, there's so many villages, there's so many different places in Egypt that need the gospel. And so these national pastors are able to take it there. They know these places, some of them grew up in these areas. Uh, and so it's just, uh, it's very advantageous for them to be able to do that. Another benefit to being involved with the national pastors is that they don't need training in cultural. Uh, they already know the culture. Um, they don't need to learn the language. And so they're able to, once trained, be a much more effective witness uh, than someone that once trained has to go through language school uh, or raise more support. And so we're able to see churches planted at a much faster rate. You can be involved in helping these national pastors here in Egypt in many ways. The first would be to pray for them. Above all else, these national pastors need your prayers. They face persecution on an almost daily basis and are constantly witnessing to people and trying to get the gospel to people who aren't always friendly or receptive to that. Another way you can be a part of this is to uh, sponsor a national pastor. Thank you for taking some time to see what God is doing in other parts of the world, specifically here today in Egypt. We hope that you will pray about what you can do, how you might be a part in getting the gospel throughout Egypt.